Rahman Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Maas. I'm reading class with Bebo. Today I will discuss about classification of living things. Grouping of living things is called classification of living things. There are five groups of classification of living things. Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Planty and Kingdom Animaria. Kingdom Monera. Kingdom Monera. Bacteria is the example of Kingdom Monera. They are decomposers. They cannot make their own food. They are unicellular. Now I will tell you about Kingdom Protista. Algae is the example of Kingdom Protista. They cannot, they, they make their own food because they have chlorophyll. They grow on moist places. They are blue and green in colors. Now I will tell you about Kingdom Fungi. Yeast, Mushroom, Rhizopus is the example of Kingdom Fungi. Yeast. Yeast used in make of make of make in make of breads mushrooms some mushrooms are useful and some mushrooms are harmful mushrooms are used in medicines rhizopus rhizopus grow on very old breads now i will tell you about kingdom animalia there are two groups of kingdom animalia Vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates. Vertebrates have backbone. For example, cow, sheep, goat, etc. Invertebrates. Invertebrates have not backbone. For example, mosquito, mosquito, butterfly, etc. Now I will tell you about invertebrates. Vertebrates have five groups. Mammals, reptiles, birds, fish and amphibians. Mammals. Mammals are living things. They are vertebrates. Humans are, are also invertebrates. Humans are also ma mammals. Mammals give babies. They feed their babies with milk. They, have, they breathe with their lungs. They have hairs on their bodies. Now I will tell you about reptiles. Reptiles are living things. They are also vertebrates. They can crawl. They have hard scales and hard skins. The example of reptiles are snake, dinosaur, etc. Now I will tell you about fish. fish some, some fish are big and some fish, fishes are small. For example, Dol dolphin, whales are the example of fish and they are vertebrates. Now I will tell you about amphibians. Amphibians spend their half life in water and half life in land. They lay eggs. Now I will tell you about birds. Birds are living things, they are vertebrates. They lay eggs. Now I will tell you about invertebrates. There are three groups of invertebrates. Insects, worms and marine invertebrates. Insects. Insects are living things. Some insects are big and some are small. They have six legs. Worms. Worms are very, very small living things. There are three types of worms. Earthworm, tapeworm and flatworm. Now I will tell you about my invertebrates. Many invertebrates are dogfish, starfish, etc. Now I will tell you about kingdom planty. There are two groups of kingdom planty. Flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Flowering plants. There are two groups of flowering plants. Monocot and dicot. Monocot. Monocot has one cotyledon. They have long leaves. They have parallel weights. They have three sepals and petals or multiples of three. Dicot. Dicot has two cotyledon. 
they have broad leaves they have network of wings they have four and five petals and sepals and multiples of four and five now if I, now i'll tell you about non flowering plants non flowering plants have no flowers some have stems the example of non flowering plants are mosses and ferns thanks